<laughs> I need I haven't even finished my coffee. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. I'm Jess. And I'm Elle. And we work in the marketing team here at Adore Beauty. Today we're going to take you through some of our makeup, hair and skincare hacks for time poor mums. Are we rolling? Yeah. <laughs> so Al, what is the biggest thing that's changed for you since becoming a mum? Oh, I have to multitask with everything. Yeah. I have a um, 21 month old now, so she is constantly at my legs. She wants my attention all the time. I've got three, um, three under seven, so it's busy. The hardest thing is looking alive and awake yes. and like you've had a decent night's sleep. Yes. I know a lot of beauty specialists say, oh, you know, the best beauty hack is just get your eight hours of sleep and you'll look amazing. <laughs> well, that's great, but for a mum, I don't know the last time I had eight hours of sleep yeah. in a row. I have a trick for this. Oh. This is one of my products. This is a good segue. If you've got darkness under your eyes, concealers can sometimes make it stand out a little bit more. Yeah. So the Bobbi Brown Corrector, so it literally corrects, so it neutralizes any darkness under your eyes. Yep. Or, you know, if you have bags, if you have redness, whatever it may be, it will neutralize it first. And then you can use your concealer or your foundation on top of it and it'll kind of match to your skin tone. This is like sleep in a tube. Yeah. Because it makes you look awake. What I find really important is lashes to make oh, you look awake. Pre-kids, I loved getting my eyelashes tinted and lifted. Oh, Don't have true. time for that anymore. Investing in a really good eyelash curler yes. and mascara and just, Favorite you know. mascara? I'd have to be Lancome. Yeah, Lancome's good. Yeah. I love Lancome. And, and also Maybelline's really good. Yeah, Maybelline's falsies. really good. Um, I'm not very good at putting falsies on though. So oh no, it's some... called falsies, the mascara. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next hack is um, for makeup since we're talking about it. I yeah. like to use versatile products yeah i will use say like a bronzer or blush this one is actually a combo of both it's mm -hmm. the blush patrol by napoleon i'm wearing it today i use it on my eyes i use it on my cheeks i will use it as a highlighter and i also love a cream blush so then i can use it on my eyes cheeks and lips yeah and then Very it's smart. like you look so alive with blush yeah and like, you can just chuck that in the bag one thing i've actually adopted since becoming a mum, maybe if it's just getting older instead of using foundation I just use a tinted moisturizer. Yes. I find it has less coverage, doesn't go into the creases as much. It gives you a beautiful glow. So I love, I mean love. Oh, I have not used violet. this. It's got the SPF. It's a Dream Screen Tinted Veil. And I literally just put this on in the morning and add a bit of bronzer and So you don't it's even done. use powder? No, I don't use any powder. By itself. By itself. If you want a glowy base, if you want to accentuate that glow, if you're running out of Oh house, yeah, I do love this. Yeah, the MAC Strobe Cream. For a natural glow, so you can use it as a moisturizer even, and it will hydrate your skin, but it'll also leave you with this like natural sheen of mm, glow where beautiful. you don't look like a glitter bomb, but you look like fresh, yeah, like you've slept, which yeah. is what we want, and healthy, which I think is the biggest thing because I've, I don't know about you, but like when I was breastfeeding and I was, you know, fresh into the mum life, yeah. I looked so dull, yeah. like all the time. <laughs> I just look drained. I actually used to use this years ago and then forgot about it. It's so good. It's literally, it, it is as hydrating as a moisturizer. Yeah. And it just leaves like a really, you look I don't so know, glowing. I'm really getting into the influencer stuff. It's it got is. like a, a sheen. It's got a beautiful sheen. You probably can't tell, but it's a really nice way to start your base. You can wear it by itself or you can wear it under makeup and it just beautiful. highlights your glow. Yeah. Love Let's it. talk hair. It I love hair. So good. I love hair. I used to blow away my hair pre kids every second day. Oh, Loved it. Beautiful. But I have to say, dry shampoo. Yes. Oh, dry shampoo is a mother's best friend. <laughs> We're about to launch this. We haven't actually launched it. It is the Nine Yards. It's called Dark Dry Shampoo. As a brunette, there's nothing worse than the white, like powder yeah. residue that comes with some of the dry shampoos that aren't tinted. I've got Let some me just roots. spray some in mine. It, the texture, just even as a styling product, oh, yeah. it just builds it, like builds the body. So you can do it at the top, right, to absorb any oils. Yep. But you can also do it underneath and it just like instantly builds volume. It smells nice. Actually, it's quite dark. It's dark. So I use this one. It's the Evo Water Killer Brunette. Another thing that happened after having kids was I went grey. Oh. I checked the colour. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's pretty much exactly, pretty much the, exactly same. the same. There's the comparison. But yeah, and that washes out. So They um, wash out so well. I thought yeah. I'd mention this one as well, which is the Chloran Dry Shampoo, and this is probably a cult product. Yeah, it's that's very good. very well known yeah. in the market. I feel like most people would use it because you can you can get it from everywhere. It's a really good all-rounder. Yes. Like really, it's, I don't think it gives you as much like body and 
style with yes. it. It's very good at it absorbing oil. It doesn't hold oil. the way Correct. this one does. Yeah. So this product is hopefully launching by the time this video comes out. It is going to be brand new to Adore. It's the Nine Yards Dry Shampoo, as I said. But all the products that we mentioned today will be linked underneath the video below. So you'll be able to check out what we've spoken about today. The other thing that happened to me when I was a mum, or when I became a mum, is I lost a lot of my hair. Yeah. Did that happen to you? It didn't happen to me, but my, the, my hair texture changed. Oh, my hair. Yeah. I had like missing parts along the hair line yeah but it's very common literally every time i brush my hair or wash my hair i will find clumps of my hair in the shower so i started using the virtue flourish density booster the virtue flourish range is specifically formulated for hair fall or hair thinning um, and so for me, that was certainly something that I needed help with. It is a clinical, it has clinical science behind it. But basically you can use this on wet and dry hair and okay. it helps strengthen, thicken and encourage like growth. Yeah, hair okay. growth. It's, I've noticed a huge difference when I started using it. The virtue stuff is on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to yeah. price point, but the value and the results are totally worth it. Yeah, I love virtue. I actually use the um, virtue exfoliating Scalp treatment. Scalp treatment, that's the name. Um, <laughs> I did develop really itchy skin after yes. having kids. Oh, um, everywhere or just on your uh, I did get patches of eczema, but my scalp became quite dry and itchy, so I needed to invest in something that was going to be really nourishing for my scalp and I found the Virtue was probably the best one. That's good. But Especially if you're using dry shampoo, you really want to exfoliate yeah. your scalp. The other product that I really like, it's the Cloud9 Magical Quick Dry Potion. You never heard but, oh, I hate drying my hair. Reduce drying my time. Hair. Yes. Does it really do that? I think so. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I don't know how. It is literally magic. It says it in the name. Apparently, and you can see how much I've used yeah. it. Yeah. It helps mm. your hair dry faster. Okay. This is my last hack, my last hair <gasps> care hack. And this is like bougie. I'm not going to pretend like it's normal. It's not. But cost per use, it's worth it if you invest. It is a cordless electrical tool because it means you can take it anywhere. Yeah. So literally, it's if I like, compact too. it is, if you're running around the house with a kid who won't sit down or like you need to watch them have their breakfast or whatever, then you can take it with you to the kitchen and do your hair while you're like looking in the reflection of your kitchen splash back, which I have definitely done oh, before. Yeah. <laughs> Pots and pans are yeah. good too. <laughs> literally. Cloud9 has also a cordless straightener, which is mm -hmm. amazing, which you can put up here, Maddie. The way I did my hair today is I literally blow dried it yeah. so it wasn't wet. I plaited it. So I used all of my serums and stuff. Like I always put a lot of hydration through my hair because it can be quite dry. What serums are you using? I love the um, Coco and Eve hair elixir. Yes. It smells like coconuts. It's delicious. Yes. It's really nice. The Olaplex number nine, I think it is, the new um, yep. hair serum that's come out. And then I plaited it, went yeah. to sleep. So then my whole hair was like, had this like crimpy kind it of look. It looks like you've done the mermaid. But then I did the mermaid uh, on top. Thank you, Maddie. You I just plait my hair and then I use this on the top layer. Yeah. Like literally just at the top. I crimp it for like three seconds and then move it down. Yeah. Anyway, so I just do the top layer and it makes my whole head look like it's done, but it's not. That's smart. I've tried that. It doesn't work on me. <laughs> yeah, it honestly it depends on your hair type, obviously. All of these hacks yeah. usually. The only other thing I probably wanted to share, and this is something that I've actually only recently discovered, is micellar water. Oh, a classic. Obsessed with it. Yeah. So end of the day, want to take my makeup off. Would love to spend a good 10, 15 minutes doing a bit of yeah, <laughs> relaxation. <laughs> a 12-step skin Two routine. Two-step, what was it? Double cleanse. <laughs> yeah, double cleanse. Put a mask on. Yeah, not going to happen. So I literally... <laughs> just take everything off with this and say a little prayer and that's it <laughs> and it's all done and it's just what say a little prayer and you don't do any other skincare well most nights oh no. my god Jess don't tell the skincare team no as in <laughs> I try to but if I'm time True. poor or if I've got to get dinner on or got to pick the kids up then it's mum life because I like to take my makeup off Straight pretty much away. as soon as the work day is done. Same. Yeah. Another little trick is if your skin is feeling like it needs a wake up call. Yeah. The La Roche Posay um, water in a can. <laughs> What's water in a like can. Yeah. What's that it called? Um, yes, the spring water. Thank you. It ah. is so beautiful. But when would you put that on? I put it on any time during the day if I'm feeling tired. On top of your makeup. Yep. Just a little ah, spray, literally just, just a little water. mist of water. <laughs> Hang on, I think we have one in here. I'm gonna... it's, oh. it's literally spring water. Thermal spring water, it is called the La Roche-Posay. Avene I'll have a really nice one, nice one as well. It's literally just a refresh, like it just wakes you up. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm <laughs> going for a swim. <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, no, it's in amazing. Way. Like, it's so now beautiful, feel... it wakes you up. So now I feel I'm a little wet. <laughs> 
dry. <laughs> but like literally, if I'm feeling really tired or if I've had a rough night, I will start my skincare routine with this and I will just spray, yeah. refresh, start again and then do everything on top yeah, of it. Yeah, I, I definitely apply everything with a bit of damp skin. I yeah. find everything goes on Perfect. a little bit better with a bit of damp skin. Summer, it's really hot and okay. your skin needs a cool down, put it in the fridge and then take it out, pop it on oh, and that'd it's be even nice. more cooling. They're thanks. all of our hacks, I think. Well, thanks, Al. That was very educational. Um, thanks, Jess. If you've got anything you want to share with us, please, please. comment. Yes, tell us. If you want to see more content from Adore Beauty, click over here and you can see all of our videos there. Otherwise, bye from us. Bye.